I got something I want to try. If it works, it's going to be really cool. I got these tiny little frogs from Spro, and uh, my buddy Chris was showing them to me. Picked up a couple, and I had this idea of fishing them in this place right here where I did good with the crick hopper, and I saw some fish come up and hit. So uh, my goal is to try to catch one or two fish off one of these frogs. I'm going to throw it on a spinning rod, medium heavy, 6'6 six, six rod, a little shorter heavy spinning rod on braid and um i'm gonna go through here just a little ways and maybe try a couple other places i just want to see if i can get some bass to come up and hit this thing i can toss it out there i thought it'd be perfect for these creeks oh it, it pops too it's a little popper dude it's kind of cool looking Usually there's some bass hanging, or some fish. Oh, I see a wave. Yeah, yes, yes. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. The <laughs> I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up, me trying to film with my chest camera and make these casts in here. I saw a wave come over to it, kept popping it. And I got a fish in like this first three minutes of filming. Look at this little bat. This is exactly what I wanted to pull out of there. Dude, <laughs> that was really cool. Dude, fish number one. And knowing the frogs, how frogs work, at least learning more about how frogs work. A lot of times the frog bite pulls out the bigger fish. There's a lot of little sunfish in here, but I know there's bass like that mixed in. Just popped it, just kind of working it slow, and he exploded on it. I think I got 15 or 20 pound braid. So something pretty pretty light. Cause you can't you can't throw that frog really far, that's for sure. Is that a bash over there? I see something over there hanging out. It's a little windy here, hopefully the wind ain't bothering us too much oh did you see that it was a little bad he came up and hit it he's like a little eight inch bass he just came up and like just hit that thing oh that was a red breast oh I'm getting hits by uh, uh, oh, red breast. I can see them. Had like two hits. They're taking it under, but they can't get their mouth all the way around. Unless they were just a massive one. Well, I had to move spots. I didn't have a lot of room to cast there. There's only a couple deep holes. And this area I fish too, um, sometimes has bass in it. I'm hoping that they're in here and I just hadn't, hadn't been knowing they're here and this frog will pull something out. So we're gonna hit a little couple spots right here in town. Oh, 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 dude, I saw something come up and look at it. Look like a big fish or a nice bass. Come on. There was something. There was something that looked at that. It looked big enough. Yeah. Oh, dude, I had a good hit. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of like a little tennis bass hit at it. I thought I had that one. I was kind of in the weeds, but it was a good hit. Oh, dude. I don't know if you saw it or not, but I got a, a good hit. I'm just pitching it in those little spots. Oh, see that? Oh, he hit it again. That dude is hammering it. All right, I'm going to give him a little extra second here. I may be jerking too soon, but. These guys are just small. I know some of these holes have a, have some large mouth, a little bit bigger mouth, but the Kusa bass in here are only eight, nine inches long. Usually you got a little smaller mouth. Oh, right there. Oh, oh come on. There's something. I saw something swipe right at it. 
This thing is getting so much attention. There's like all these little fishes coming up and looking at it. He was in there. He must have been back in there. Oh no! I had that one. That was a good hit. Yeah! Yes! Oh, it's a little largemouth. Wow. I've gotten several hits, probably fished this big. He was right underneath, underneath that overhang right there. Oh, I ripped his lip a little bit. <laughs> little frog, little frog bass. Frog fishing in the middle of town. Creek fishing. You creek fishing Avengers? Yeah. What's up? Uh, thanks. I caught a. Caught two little fish on a little bitty frog. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I landed about two out of six, which was actually very exciting. But you know how they say, follow up a frog with a stick bait. I just happen to have these little three inch yum dingers. And uh, I'm gonna go hit it. I'm gonna do like, like 20 minutes. I'm gonna hit several spots where I had bass uh, bite or I saw them and see if it'll hook up with them. Got it. Oh no. There's definitely something hitting there, but still. Small animal in the trees. Oh, I get a bite? Yep. Ha! <laughs> Little bitty Kusa bass. Dude, he, that may have been, I don't know if those were the ones hitting at my frog. Could have been. Oh, whoa, what happened? Did I get him? Oh, I got him. What is going on? I saw the fish hit. I didn't know my bell wasn't. It was messed up. Yes. I saw that fish come out and get it. Now that's probably one that hit the frog. Just a, not a quite big enough mouth to get that frog all the way in. Cool, good piece of bass. Yep, another one. Oh, is he on there? Oh, I came off. Got me in this little weeds. How about I didn't spook him? There was a couple in this little spot, I think. Oh, come on, take it. I got him? I got him. Nope. I think that was a green sunfish. Oh, and he was taking off with it. Stay on there, stay on there. Hey, now I know these Guys were hitting at it too. I saw lots of different sunfish pecking at the frog. Oh, there he is. I missed something. Got him again. It's a red, other red breast. These guys, I keep thinking there's gonna be some bass coming out of here. I don't know what the bass are doing. I know there's, there's a few in there that are hiding in there somewhere. They're just being smart. tapping at it what is it that's oh, another piece of bass well where's the largemouth at 
There you are hiding today. But maybe there's not as many as I thought are in here. Get you back in there, buddy. Well, it definitely was a hot evening for September the 1st. We are moving into the, move, getting closer to the fall time of year, still really hot. And uh, I've learned that, you know, frogs, frog bite gets better. I guess that's why, like when I, I fish creeks, the creek hopper like kind of gets, they get more aggressive towards those kind of lures. I guess the same thing transitioning into like bass fishing, you know, on like lakes and stuff like that. But um, that little frog was really fun. A uh, little spro frog. And um, I, I am thinking of a couple other places I might have to try that. And it's a good weedless option. And in a, especially in a small area, if you're trying to draw out some little bit bigger bass, because all the bigger fish were just really coming out after it. Um, as far as big on that creek's 11, 12 inches. Um, thought they'd be more largemouth, but I only fished maybe two hours and ended up catching a bunch of fish. So I just wanted to try something new, try it out. I'm gonna keep that around for some more ideas. It pops really well and it, um, you know, it's got good action for that little thing. Um, casting it, you gotta have some lighter line for sure. And um, a little, I mean, you could, I guess you could throw it on a spinning rod like I did. I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to throw it on. But anyways, fun time trying out that little lure and uh, I'm sure I'll be trying it some more. Thanks for watching.